Hello, Jackals fans. Welcome to Game 1 of the Playoffs, Round 1. The Jackals have a record of 14 wins, 11 losses, 2 losses in overtime, and 1 tie for a 574 winning percentage up against the Chargers in Round 1. 17 wins, 10 losses, 1 loss in overtime, no ties, but most importantly, a 547 win percentage in the division. So they get 4th place, 3rd versus 4th. Right off the opening face-off of the game, we get a bit of action as the Jackals take the puck, put it in deep into the corner. John goes down to go get it. The defender puts it out high. Troy has a chance to just put it on that there towards where John is. He tries to tip it. Then he has a chance to tap the rebound in, but the defender gets enough of him to prevent it from going in. Down the other end, Gary is retrieving the puck behind the net. Gets tripped up, falls awkwardly there. He's a bit injured on the play, shook up. He's going to be missed a couple shifts, but he does get back into the game. The Jackals were unable to score on that power play to open the scoring, but they do open the scoring here. John puts it up to the middle to Jay, who quickly ladders it up to Daryl, goes around the defender, finds the five hole, one nothing Jackals. That lead is short-lived, however. About four minutes later, the Chargers put the puck up the middle, off to the side, on a slip there by David. He's able to get back up. However, that opens the window for them to put the puck across the ice, putting it up and over Trevor's shoulder, tie the game 1-1. Chargers are pressing, they come across the blue line, trying to go up, put the shot on net. Trevor swats it to the corner to get rid of that rebound before anybody can follow up on it. Let's move to the second period now. Chargers going in behind the net, popping the puck out front. It rattles around off a few legs and finds its way in. Not sure if that hit the defender Gary or if their guy found a way to put that in, but now it's 2-1 early in the second period for the Chargers. Jackals looking to create another scoring chance off a of face-off here, putting the puck towards the net. Chris Marshall finds it there, takes a quick shot, but it's right into the glove of the goalie, and it still remains 2-1 for the Chargers. Here they come up the ice, looking for a chance, put a puck on net. Trevor steers it to the corner, but they get it back and throw it to the front of the net here and get a couple more whacks at it, unencumbered before Trevor's able to cover it up and keep the score 2-1. Here's some more action in the Jackals zone. The Chargers put it down to the half wall, try to put the puck on net. It comes back out, gets swatted over to a Chargers player who takes another shot. Trevor has the door closed. Let's watch on the right side of the screen there. Chris Marshall going behind the net with number 12, bumping a little bit with him. 12 takes exception to it. He follows Chris up the ice, takes what might be the weakest four minute slashing penalty we've ever seen. But the power play is still happening. So the Jackals looking to tie it. They off the face off, put the puck down low, and look at this. One of their players takes a reckless stab at the puck, getting another tripping penalty to put them down five on three here at the end of the second period. So let's look and see if the Jackals can capitalize. There's a bit of a misplay on the pass back to the point here, which results in the Chargers putting a hard press up, trying to turn it into a two-on-one, but a couple of hard back checks, especially by Ordis, comes back, picks up the puck, and now the Chargers have two players deep on a five-on-three, four Jackals back the other way, Darwin goes hard to the other net the other way, tries to tip home the pass, doesn't go. The five on three continues and the Jackals work it around in the zone, move it over to Gary, sees a body in front, gives it to Aaron for the tip, goalie's there to keep it out. Again, they're continuing to work on that five on three, out high to Gary, puts it down low to Aaron, tries to backhand it up high, another glove save, still remains 2-1. Still time left on this five on three though. Daryl has the puck in the corner now, he sees Johnny back door, Oh, hops over his stick, that could have been it. And that ends the second period, so let's move to the third, still down 2-1. Gary has the puck at the point, not feeling that earlier spill, it looks like, as he dangles his way through one, two, three people. There's number four, in on the goalie now, tries to put it high blocker. Goalie's there to save it, but he's way out of his net, tries her wraparound, but a couple chargers seal the post, and it won't go in. Jackal's getting a bit frustrated with all these chances to tie it up, and it hasn't worked out yet. Chris here gets in an altercation at center with another player, a bit of a cross check there, ends up getting two minutes for a roughing. That's going to make it difficult on the Jackals here as the game winds down. Off the face off on the penalty kill. The Jackals are pushing it down to the far end. Daryl ends up tied up along the wall with number 12. Number 12 takes a tumble down after the battle for the puck. Daryl has the puck back in the corner, tries to put it out front to David who's pinching in to try and tie this game up, but they push it back the other way. Daryl with a hard back check, him and number 12 again. After the whistle of offside, a little bit of a bump, but he falls down. 12 takes a lunge at him and on falls before he can get there, saving himself from taking the penalty. 
The Jackals do successfully kill that penalty. And then later with about four minutes left, big block by Chris Marshall to put it down the other way. Lloyd skates hard to catch up, tips it over the blocker of the goalie. It's a tie game, folks. 2-2 with, like I said, about four minutes left in the game. The Chargers aren't done yet, though, folks. There's about a minute and a half left. They're coming down, trying to get back in the lead of this game. It's into the corner. They throw it up front. Trevor makes a save, and it pounces out front. Couple whacks at it. A backhand shot there. He smothers that and covers it up. Minute and a half left in the game. Then we're down to about one minute left. The pass from Gary up hard to the middle. Chris grabs it out wide to Daryl, throws it across. Johnny's coming back door, taps it in, and it's 3-2 Jackals with about a minute left to play. The big comeback in the third period, two goals in the last four minutes to go up 3-2 late in game one. The Chargers do pull the goalie, try to get back into it, but they are unable to get any offensive zone time, and the Jackals run the clock out to lock up a 3-2 win in Game 1. Game 2 is Wednesday night, and the Jackals will look to eliminate the Chargers, either in a Game 2 with a win there, or by winning the mini-game in Game 3 directly after Game 2. Let's have a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. The Shower Hogs upset in Game 1 of their series in the 1 versus 8 game. The Knights win 4-2. The Canadians, the second place team, they won their game 7-2 against the Coyotes. And the Thrashers needed overtime to beat the Blades 5-4. That's it for this game, folks. 3-2 Jackals win in Game 1. We'll see you for Game 2 on Wednesday.